Now we'll talk about the attenuation measurement. So first we'll discuss what do you mean by attenuation and then we'll talk about the attenuation measurement. So when it comes to the attenuation measurement, attenuation is nothing but the ratio of input power to the output power. As again, you are calculating output by input power exactly reverse we are going to talk about the attenuation measurement so ratio of input power to the output power expressed in db will be called as the attenuation so attenuation is equal to 10 log p in by p out ratio now the amount of attenuation can be measured by two methods one is the power ratio method and other one is the rf substitution method so we'll discuss about the power ratio method power ratio method measures the input power and the output power with and without the device whose attenuation is to be measured so if you see setup when you are having a microwave source pad frequency meter slotted line then you are connecting it with the termination this termination will be match termination then crystal detector thermistor mount power meter and p1 max okay so if you are using the thermistor and that thermistor is connected to the power meter you are measuring the power and which will be noted as a p1 max now if you see setup 2 in this the complete setup will be same the only thing you have just connected device whose attenuation is to be measured okay first setup is without that device and second uh, setup is with that device whose attenuation is to be measured now you are going to check the power which will be given when you are connecting that device okay now if you know what is the p1 power and what is the p2 power this ratio will give you what kind of attenuation will be given by you say say in uh, setup number one i am getting 10 watt of power and if setup number two i am getting a 8 watt of power so i can say two watts of power loss will be there so i can very well talk about the attenuation which is provided by this device so once i connect that device to that cup ka attenuation yaha pe ho hai. so this power ratio method gives you the exact idea about the attenuation so power ratio method disadvantage is that you are using a crystal detector so measured attenuation corresponds to two power positions on the power meter with square law crystal detector chart so here result will not be accurate if attenuation of the network is large and if input power is low your attenuation is very large and input is very low then this method will not work very properly next is rf substitution method now attenuation at a single power position is measured so includes network whose attenuation is to be measured so if you see setup one you are having a microwave source you are having a pad you are having a frequency meter or apka yaha pe network hai whose attenuation is to be measured then you are connecting it to the slotted line it is terminated with the match termination you're connecting it to the crystal detector and you are measuring the power so this will be your setup where your actual network will be there whose attenuation is to be measured and the second setup if you'll see you have replaced the complete setup will be same the only change is nothing but that this particular block where you have connected variable precision attenuator so if you are connecting these things here and if you are getting a 10 watt or i can say one watt of power you connect all these things and you change the attenuation here yaha pe, till you get a one watt of power over. so if you are varying the attenuation and if you're getting one wet so you can say this is nothing but the attenuation which is provided by that network so this is a very simple setup when you are going for 